This video is sponsored by Sell Your Mac. Mac OS Ventura is officially available, and so here are 25 new features and changes worth checking out. In the Mail app, there's a new undo send option that will appear at the bottom of the sidebar once you have sent an email, and you'll have 10 seconds to click it before the option disappears and your message is actually sent. If you end up sending an email asking something from someone and you haven't received a reply for a while, Mail will intelligently surface the message in your inbox and ask you if you want to follow up the email. If you get an email that you want to respond to at a later time, mail can remind you so you don't forget. Simply right click on the message and then select remind me from the drop down menu. You'll see options to remind you in one hour, tonight, tomorrow, and remind me later with the ability to choose a custom date and time. You can also compose messages in mail with the option to schedule them to be sent at a future time and date. Simply click the icon next to the send icon and from the drop down menu select send now send tonight or send later with the ability to customize the date and time for that message to be sent. You can now use your iPhone as a microphone input by simply heading into system settings and under sound, in the input tab, you should see your iPhone listed as a continuity camera type. In Ventura, you can preview recognized files with Quick Look, just like you can in Finder. Simply press the space bar on a result to open up a preview window. Text-based documents also include full copy selection support. In another turbocharging enhancement to Spotlight, you can now perform quick actions from the search field without opening the corresponding app. For example, you can create a timer by typing start a timer and the clock app will show a dialog box asking for how long. Other quick actions include set an alarm, turn on a focus, run a shortcut, find the name of a song with Shazam, and much more. When Apple first introduced the tab groups feature for Safari, one disadvantage of using them was that you couldn't pin tabs to the left side of the tab bar. In Ventura, you can now drag the tab of a website in a tab group to the leftmost side of the tab bar and it will stick, thus pinning the tab in the tab groups. You can now quickly see and copy the password of your known Wi-Fi networks on your Mac by heading into settings, Wi-Fi, and then simply right-click the Wi-Fi network and select copy password. Safari browser's built-in password suggestion feature just got more convenient as there's now an option to edit a strong password that is suggested by Apple, which allows it to be tailored to the site's specific requirements. Click a suggested password, then choose other options to access the edit strong password dropdown. From here, you can change the characters that have been suggested and you can also opt for quick access to easy type or no special characters options. Heading back to tab groups here in Safari, you can now share an entire tab group with someone by simply clicking the ellipsis button on the tab group of choice in the Safari sidebar and then select share tab group. The Messages app has inherited the option seen in iOS 16 to edit sent messages. You can edit a message up to a maximum of 15 minutes after it was sent. Simply right click on the message in question, then select edit from the contextual menu. If you want to mark a message as unread so that you can revisit the message at a later date, simply right click on a conversation and select mark as unread. In Ventura, like in iOS 16, it's now possible to unsend an iMessage for up to two minutes after it's been delivered. If more than two minutes have elapsed since the sent message, you can no longer unsend it, although you may still be able to edit the iMessage. To use this feature in messages, simply right click on the message bubble and select undo send. Forgot to send an attachment in an email? Well, forget no more, as the mail app inside macOS Ventura can now notify you if you forgot to include an attachment before the message is sent. Mail will also alert you if it thinks you've missed recipients from the to field. If you like to be selective in your use of the new stage manager app window management feature inside of Ventura, you can enable a menu bar item that gives you quick access to an on and off toggle. Go to system settings, control center, find the stage manager entry, and then select show in menu bar in the drop down menu beside it. If you want to manage app sets in stage manager, either drag app windows from parked sets or better, shift click them to bring them into the active set. In Ventura, Continuity Camera lets you use your iPhone, either iPhone XR or later models, as your webcam in FaceTime, Photo Booth, Zoom, or any other app that can use a camera, including web browsers. It works wired or wirelessly, and your Mac will automatically switch to using iPhone as a camera input when you bring it close to your Mac. Just make sure both devices have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, and that they are both signed in using the same Apple ID. Speaking of Continuity Camera, there are a few video effects that will now make its way to the Mac thanks to your iPhone, including Portrait Mode, Studio Light, Desk View that mimics an overhead camera, and Center Stage, which adjusts the framing as you move to keep you centered in the frame. 
In previous versions of macOS, the hidden album in your photo library can easily be made visible via a menu bar option, and recently deleted photos are available for anyone to see if your Mac is unlocked. But in macOS Ventura, you can now use a password or Touch ID to prevent those albums from being seen. In Ventura, Apple's Lives Text feature can be used in paused video frames so that you can use functions like copy and paste, look up, and translate. Live text works in Photos, Quick Look, Safari, and other apps that support video. Apple has also added language recognition of Japanese, Korean, and Ukrainian text. The Maps app allows you to plan a route that has multiple stops instead of a just a single destination. While Google Maps has actually had this feature for quite some time, this is the first version of Apple Maps to add such support. When entering a destination, Apple Maps allows you to add up to 15 locations to stop in route, and the app will show you the route to each stop in turn. Like in iOS 16, you can lift the subject from an image or isolate the subject by removing the background. The feature works in photos, screenshots, quick looks, safari, and more. All you gotta do is right click on the image and select copy subject from the contextual menu. And then you can now paste the isolated subject from the clipboard into any app with an input field such as messages. Previous versions of macOS included a weather widget, but that's as far as it went, which is why the new dedicated weather app in Ventura is worth checking out. If you're coming from an iPhone or iPad, the Mac app will look familiar. It has all of the features of the iOS app, including animated weather backgrounds that change based on the weather at your location, severe weather notifications, air quality monitoring, weather maps, and forecasts. In Ventura, connecting AirPods gets you a complete menu of options in system settings, where you can now control everything from ear detection to charging case sounds. Previously in macOS, whenever you connected AirPods to your Mac, you could control transparency, noise cancellation, and spatial stereo from the sound menu bar item. But that was it. And before we do end this video, I want to give you more information about today's sponsor, SellYourMac.com. SellYourMac.com is now an OWC company, and SellYourMac.com is the number one most trusted Apple trade and website out there. The website helps Apple users get cash back on their used devices to help fund new Apple device purchases. So whether you are upgrading to the iPhone 14 lineup, or you have a Mac sitting in your closet from your last upgrade, you can get an instant price using the trade-in tool. For a limited time, you can get a $15 bonus on every item over $100 if you head on over to sellyourmac.com right now, which is the safest and easiest place to trade in your used Apple devices. So click the link in the description down below for more details. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.